Hello and welcome. We've made it to the 10th episode of Let's Play Diablo 2. And in this episode, we will be doing two things. Okay. Okay, you want to freeze now, Fraps, while I'm trying to do my introduction? Will you, will you let me do my introduction? Are you good now? Okay. Anyways, search the Claw Viper Temple for the headpiece. There's actually another quest. That one right there, that's about to start as soon as I walk into the next area. And they both end at the same point, so we're going to get two quests out of the way for the price of one. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we head to the Lost City, and the most annoying thing in the world is about to ha Ooh! Most annoying thing in the world will be happening any second now. Don't make a liar out of me. But there we go! Now I can't see... Shit! Come on. This has got to be... Blizzard has got to just be like, eh, this will be fucking annoying. No one ever uses light radius gear. Let's make it pitch black everywhere. Axe Drognan about the strange darkness. Since I have the waypoint right here, I'm going to go ahead and take care of that. And the strange darkness is coming from the same place where the head of the staff is. So when I finish one quest, I finish both of them. So... And that one's a fun one. I like the next one. I've been researching this lengthy eclipse, and I believe it to be the work of Claw Vipers. Find their temple beneath the desert sands, and you may find the source of this curse. So yeah, Claw Viper Temple. And it's all the way at the bottom of the Claw Viper Temple. And we already have the waypoint for this episode, since that next waypoint is for the next quest. And look at this. Look at this. Oh... That is luck. I hate the Lost City because it's filled with all those high damage zombies. We already found the Claw Viper Temple. Today is a good day. Uh, Jewel, as you may all know, jewels are absolutely freaking useless 99.9% .9 of the time. Let's see. Ow. I hate their knockback. It's not that bad when you're, like, ranged, because they're just knocking you back so you're farther away. But as a melee, they're just knocking me out of range. Come on. I'm trying to speed through this. Let's go. Not enough. not enough mana. I have, like, 80 mana potions. I probably should have brought more than 80 uh, healing potions by the look at this. These guys hurt. I'm just gonna get a huge following of these guys, and then just throw down some traps, and then hope I don't die. Okay, I'm going to die. If I don't, if I don't kill him now, I was going to die, and that would be my first death. And it, as anyone who saw the last episode knows, I want to treat this like a hardcore character, even though it's not hardcore. Okay, set item, another set item. I'm still wearing this. I need to replace that now. I'm gonna upgrade my strength to the next level and see uh, this thing. I keep getting that on hell mode on my necromancer. I'm like, oh, cool! Let's set I Oh, it's level 11. I I'm definitely not level 90 in Act 5 with the hardest difficulty, but that's, that's cool. Oh, yeah, and my necromancer's permanently stuck because... Uh, well, I'm gonna have to glitch it out because one of the uh, mini-bosses before you can fight the final boss of the final act... Uh, okay, it froze again, but anyways, one of the mini-bosses... That you have to fight before you can fight the final boss, the final act, is immune to magic. Oh, Paige died. I totally didn't notice. That says a lot about how useful she is. Not. She's absolutely useless. Okay, this is a dead end. I went the wrong way. And now I'm getting hit by a million vipers. Mana potion. Oh, Fraps is acting up. Sorry about the freezing. I don't know what's going on with it. It's probably because I'm using my computer to upload a video right now. I got, on my other screen, I got dual monitors. Uh, on my other screen, I got the upload going. It's at 90%, uh, I think, or 88%. 80, 80%. It's kind of cut off. But judging by it, by how long it's been, it should be around there. What's weird is when I uh, opened Diablo 2, my dual monitors, the... Uh, the ratio uh, gets all messed up, and it cuts off about a, a third to about half of the screen, just the right side of the screen. So I can't see the percentages on my uploads, no matter what. If they're over there, 
But it's only Diablo 2. It, it, it works as intended whenever I'm using anything else. Uh, it's, again, probably because Diablo 2 is an old game with a lower bit. Like, I'm running a 64-bit operating system, and this is probably like a 16-bit game. Okay, it's probably 32. Probably the very early 32. I, I don't think it's 16. 16 would be a little bit more blocky than this. I've never actually checked or even cared to check. See, these guys, they're annoying. They do a lot of damage and have a lot of health. But they're slow. They're slow. That's the one good thing about them. And they drop healing potions. That's another good thing. Okay, so for all my uh, touting about another freeze, seriously. For all my touting about how well I know this game in which... Another freeze, again. How well I know this game and how I always go the right direction. I went the complete opposite of the right direction. So, that was, I guess, total bullshit. Killing all the urns. Why? Because fuck urns. I've actually been killed by an urn on hell mode because of the, uh, the little shock it sends out. It does, like, 90% of your health on hell mode. I just went up to it with half health, kicked it, and died and lost a ton of experience in gold. Because on the harder difficulties, you lose experience in gold when you die. You know what? Let's see how many... Oh, that's enough potions. A Claw Viper Temple, level 2. Yep, it only goes to level 2. So this... Uh, and there's zombies. Uh, not zombies, mummies, sorry. I need mommy. And Fangskin is dead. On harder difficulties, he can one-shot you, so... Be a little bit careful with him. He's... Also, lightning enchanted. It's never fun. Like on a on a harder difficulty, even nightmare. You'll walk in here, and you'll just you walk in here and you die. You just go down the stairs and you die instantly. And every time you go go back to get your body, you die. So you have to pick them off one by one. Oh no, I'm poisoned. I definitely don't have an antidote. It froze again. Come on. Well, at least this is the last episode I'm recording for right now. Since I did uh, 9 and 10 back-to-back, -back, just to make it easy on myself. Okay, here's the Tainted Sun Altar. Releasing the sunlight. Serpents. I expected worse. Anyways, let's go ahead and make ourselves a Herodric Staff. Do -do -do. Herodric Staff. It always has the same exact stats on every difficulty. Talk to Drognan. Greetings. Let's talk to Drognan first. Because this quest will stay open for the entire, uh, entire act. Good day. So this is actually the quest before it. You did well in destroying the Claw Vipers. We are all glad to see the sun return to its former glory. I've been researching the old records, trying to find... Oh, well, this is uh, the fourth tomb. quest. Though I haven't found the tomb itself, I may have a good lead for you. The great Vigerai summoner, Horizon, built his arcane sanctuary somewhere around here. He was a powerful spellcaster and kept demons as slaves within the sanctuary. He kept a close eye on great events, too, such as the imprisonment of Baal within Tal Rasha's tomb. If you could find Horizon's sanctuary, I'm sure that it would hold some clue as to the tomb's location. Though I doubt Horizon is still alive, you must proceed with caution. There's no telling what could be waiting inside. When I spoke of this with Lord Jaren, he asked that I send you to him. Perhaps he knows of a secret entrance or the like. Alright, see, so look for the Arcane Sanctuary within the palace. That's quest number four. Let's go ahead here. Excellent. You have a Herodric staff. Carry it with you into Tal Rasha's tomb. Find within the tomb the chamber whose floor is inset with the circle of seven symbols. Place the staff into the receptacle you find there. That will open the secret passage into Tal Rasha's burial chamber. But be prepared for a fight. 
You'll likely have to kill Tal Russia to destroy Bale. Hello. Pair and sell while I end the episode. So I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to keep that. Go ahead and resurrect my helper, store my gold. Anyways, this has been episode 10 of Let's Play Diablo 2. We're nearing, actually, the end of the second act. There's only two more areas. Technically three, but I count two of them at the same. So, technically three more areas. So, let's resurrect my helper. Anyways, this has been episode 10. Thank you for watching, and Tyrael out.